One of the true skills of a GIS professional is to be able to create spatial data from tabular data. We've looked at, looked at examples. We ran the tabular join. We did another with add XY data. In this particular instance, we're going to look at a way to do geocoding. You can see data that I got from the Durham Open GIS website. And this has a list of approximately uh, 2,000 uh, crimes that have occurred in Durham City as of 2021, the, the recording of this video. And you can see it has report date, the month, uh, the charge description that we have here, the address, and then I added an extra column for city. So I went and added a new column for city so I could qualify it. So when we go and geocode this, we're able to do this. Now the process of geocoding is fairly easy. We turn fields, relative locations into absolute locations, X's and Y's. We do this all the time on the phone, but doing it for 2,000 individual addresses is a little bit more difficult than doing it just for one address that you do on your phone. What I've done here is I ran a attribute query. I went to map, select by attributes, and I just queried out all of the, all of the uh, vandalism charges or particular charges right here uh, for vandalism. So if I open attribute table, you can see all of the vandalism charges during this particular time period. So it's only 129. So I just wanted to focus on this. And so it's got UCR code, some things that we're not going to use here. But I have a field here called address two, another one called city. Now, if we right mouse click, I can click on geocode table. Previously, we've looked at display XY data. Here, we're going to click on geocode table. So I'm going to click on geocode table, and I'm going to have this pane come up. And I'm going to go back and show another way that we can do this. Under analysis, and then tools, I can type in the word geocode, G-E-O-C-O-D-E, -E. geocode file, or geocode addresses. And I'm going to have this pane come up as well. So Either way, we can do this, okay? And I'm going to talk about this uh, this process right here because it looks at this wizard a little bit more concretely uh, than the, my particular tool. So I'm going to click Start. And so I'm going to geocode the table called DPD Crime 2021 Vandalism. And I'm also going to do this because we have access to ArcGIS uh, ArcGIS. Uh, Geocoders, which use up credits, so I don't want to use up too many credits for this. Next thing, we have more than one field. And then our input locator. A locator is basically the, the file that helps us link the points to an actual address. And you can see here, there's a number of different places I can get those. Uh, some of these I already have online. So if I click on, say, business data, I've got a couple of geocoders here somewhere. So on my C drive, I have a number of geocoders that I've utilized with some business analyst data. So we can use those. So someone has gone through the trouble of creating these. And I have USA admin places, street addresses. So I can click on this street addresses and this will be the location of my geocoder. In addition, I can look at my particular projects here. So if I go to servers, there's one called geocode.arcgis.com.ags. This is another type of geocoder. And I've added it through my Arc Catalog pane. I can also go to ArcGIS online and type in ArcGIS geocoding service. And I can type in ArcGIS Online Geocoding Service, and I can see all the geocoders available to me here. So there's a number of different ways to get to these geocoders, but using some of the Esri geocoders, it, it might cost you uh, credits in order to do this. Now, I'm going to go back to my servers here that I already have, and I've gone through the trouble of act adding this ArcGIS co uh, Geocoding Service. I'm going to click Open. This is my World Geocoding Service. I'm going to click Next. Now, all I'm going to do is match up the fields for address. So I have an address. 
I'm going to click none here. So my address or place we said before is under the field called address two. I have a field called city. I don't have a county, a state, a zip, a zip four, or a neighborhood. So these are the only fields that I have. I'm going to save it in a particular feature class. And I'm going to add it to the map. I'm going to call it this. And I'm going to be saving it in my particular project right here. So I'm just going to call this 10. And this is going to, it looks like it's going to save it as a shape file. I'm going to click next. I'm going to say this is for the United States, since we're working with the World Geocoding Service. And this is the address. And then when I'm ready, I'm just going to click on run. And there it is. And so you can see of the 129 addresses, I had 128 match, one went unmatched and it did about half a million per hour. And then I can start rematching those, but I'm not gonna focus too much on that. So now you can see all the vandalism crimes for 2021. And now I can open up the attribute table and you can see kind of the one-to-one the -one relationship with these here. So now I have got, got a GIS data layer that was created from tables using the addresses as these particular uh, columns to match them up.